Well, my name is Elisa Pratt, and my character is Lydia Gaines. She is a secret agent who finds herself in a lot of sticky situations throughout this 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 series. Um, so yeah, Lydia is she's trying to really figure out what's going on as well. She works for an agency or the agency. You gotta watch season one if you haven't watched it. I'm not giving that away get to it but she works for the agency um and she realizes that that there's some there's some things that that are not in her favor going on um and so next season in season two um she starts to take more control she starts to take more into her own hands and and she's you know finding her own lane um in season two so yeah okay okay miss lydia Gaines, secret <laughs> agent Right on, right on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I want to thank you for being a part of Crooked Ladder. I want to thank you for staying there, holding it down. You know what I mean? Staying 10 toes down, remembering lines. You know what I mean? Holding the camera. You did a lot of camera work for me. I appreciate you there. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to let you know I went, I appreciate you. And I went through a lot of characters, well, a lot of people, different people to get this character, you know, and I understand people have real lives going on, so I had to be understanding about that. But when I got to you and I asked you and you was down, I just want to let you know I appreciate you for being Agent Lydia Gaines. <laughs> I, I, I thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you for that. And thank you um for allowing me the opportunity because i really did learn a lot like i didn't realize sometimes you don't realize um how much you've learned until you have to go apply it so when i started doing other things and acting and other things and speaking in front of the camera and learning how to shoot certain angles and keep certain focus and you know spacing in the camera like I learned a lot throughout this process I learned a lot throughout myself I learned some patience throughout this process as well um <laughs> dealing with certain people you know you directors they always you know <clears throat> the easiest to deal with but um <laughs> but I did learn a lot throughout this process and it was fun it was really really fun playing Lydia Lydia is is you get I got to um like play with with a side that I wouldn't necessarily play with. I'm I'm typically uh, the the good girl growing up, so to speak, the, like the church girl, and I never really got into a lot of things. So I always held myself back from being like that devious type of person. And Lydia definitely is. Um, she a little trickster. She got some stuff up her sleeve. She's not necessarily one to be trusted. <laughs> But um, so it was fun, you know, being able to explore, you know, some that side of myself and know I'm just I'm just playing a character and I'm not ex actually, you know, being shady in people's lives. So, mm -hmm. but um, but it was fun. Yeah, I learned a lot and thank you for that. So, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, you definitely played the part. You definitely played the part, and I appreciate <laughs> it. Season two, as you say, we got deep. You know what I mean? And she's a trickster. Hey, you surprised me in some scenes, you know what I'm saying? One scene in particular, you know what I mean, when you said, would you say, uh, something about S and them? <laughs> yeah, it, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy scene. Y'all y'all gotta y'all gotta check season two out to see that scene. Stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so if there's anything else you wanna say about Lydia uh, say about tell the people about Lydia. Uh, speak on what you have going on. Give them your websites. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, speak your piece. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, but first of all, I rock Lydia out. I'm just saying, I'm, you know, I can pop my collar a little bit on that one. But but I had so much fun. Lydia um, is really moving into a different space in season two. Like I said, she's taking more control, doing more things on her own and really figuring out what's going on and, and, and really where she should be and needs to be. 
Um, so you, you definitely got to check out season two to see where the character goes. Um, uh, it was it was definitely fun playing. As far as what I have going on in my my personal life, um, there's a few things. I have Mahogany Health Queen. That's my yoga, meditation, and sound therapy service. Um, my website is www.mahoganyhealthqueen.com. I have about two events coming up. Uh, one is going to be in July, so if this, depending on when this airs, I'm not really sure, but July 22nd at Soldier's Home, it's a sound bath meditation. Also, in August, August 11th and 12th, I'll be doing um, a series, too, with like a yoga series and some meditation and sound bath and all that good stuff, and it's for people of color. I'm involved in a lot of other things, too, but I won't get into that. I've just been, been into yoga for a while, and that's my passion, so... Yeah, if you see this, holla at me, www.mahoganyhealthqueen.com. Oh, 609-800-4402. I just can't let somebody go. Listen, for your sake and for the sake of every man on that list, do as you're told, pick up the phone, and make the call. Now, just hold on one minute here. I don't take kindly to somebody walking in here and, and, and threatening You will like now, this. Governor. Listen, there's things I know about you and every man on that list that are ruining your careers, and in some cases, your lives. So do as you're told and make the call. And make it a conference call so we can all hear. So stay tuned. Season two is going to be fire, even better than season one, I might add. Um, yeah, so come check us out, Crooked Ladder YouTube. Make sure you go on there and subscribe to the YouTube page so you can get notifications every week when it comes out, when the new episodes come out. And don't be lying coming up to me saying you saw it and I asked you about the episodes and you ain't watch it. Don't just watch a couple minutes in the beginning. Sit and watch the whole thing. It's really, really great work. It's really great acting. Everybody in it put in a lot of time and effort. So, yeah. Check us out season two. Quick a ladder. <laughs> what was your favorite scene to shoot? was just like shooting in out, out the country was like say Thailand Thailand was this fun was the funny scene shooting because when we whipped out the camera and we shot in front of the big mountain the big Buddha all the Thailandians what are they called? I don't know what they would be called but the people from Thailand they was they just started coming around like I was a real actor. Like they was get they was started taking pictures with me. I'm I got my hand on them. I'm holding babies and shit. I'm kissing babies. My boys is over there laughing. I'm like, go oh, with it. You my entourage. Everybody get love. What's up? You know they was kind of shorter, so I'm like, what's up? Yeah. So that 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 was fun. Like even walking out, they was like, you can hear them chattering. You don't know what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he was saying, but I gave him chair and he was pointing and shit. I'm like, yo, we is famous, cuz what it feel like. But that 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 was fun. 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 All right. All right, you better be there, man. <laughs>